This is just going to be a box opening and a quick look at a couple of products that the sellers of these products sent me with the agreement that I use them, show them, and rate them with my honest opinion on their overall um, function, design, durability, etc. Now one of these items I've seen in use. And that's this one. A guy at my last camp at Heaton Flats had one of these. It was really nice. He had a blue one. I ordered the red one. It's a camp chair. I don't know any of the specs right now, but I'll put a link in the details. You can check it all out. Comes with its own bag. Anodized aluminum. Really nice chair. I'll put it together in a second show you it. And like I said, there'll be a link in the details down below. You'll be seeing this on an upcoming backpacking trip. Now they gave me one of these for me to use and rate. And give my honest opinion on, which I will do. Mounted. This is the stove that the company that sold the D-Power stove, now they came out with carrying this one. Same basic design. It's about the same weight it feels like. Still same braided cable. Let's see how it works. Okay, first off for the stove. It took me a minute to figure it out. These fold out like this. And the legs kick out. It's a really wide, I mean a really wide, stable base. This goes to your canister, isopro, fuel. When it's fully open, I'd say the legs are about four and a half, five inches apart with the tops being close to two inches each and about an inch and a half apart so you're looking at a good five inches diameter for pot rest now it does not have the igniter on it but what it does have is the windscreen the flame is completely blocked all the way around 360 degrees um, I've read I'll test it and see that it's I'm better on fuel than the D-Power. The D-Power is really good on fuel, so if this is better, this should be pretty amazing on fuel. It comes with its own canister. It's probably oh, three and three quarters by three and three quarters by three and three quarters. Pretty cool as a can uh, canister. So anyway, this will be the new stove. It's by Outed. There'll be a link underneath. There will even be a discount code that will be limited time. You order one of these stoves, there will be a discount code. Now hopefully I'm going to ask them if they can keep that discount code going for my first video when I show it in action. So if you like it, you can order one with this discount code. I think it's going to be uh, this weekend. I'll probably end up using it. Looks about the same weight as the Whisper Light stoves and such.
close to it. Feels a little lighter though. So I'll leave you a link in the details. So you can see the specs on this stove and check it all out. And I believe they may even give me a discount code to put in the details as well. Now what's really cool about this company is not only did they give me this, these sellers, to give my honest opinion on, they gave me this chair. I'll set this chair up in a minute. These are all available on Amazon. It's called the Outed Windproof Foldable Camping Stove for Outdoor Backpacking and Hiking. They will be available on Amazon. There will be a link in the details below. Now, any of you who have been subscribed to me for a while, you probably noticed that I'm going to be hitting 3 million views real soon. This month, probably. Maybe even this week. Now, I'm also going to be hitting, I've already hit 13,000 subscribers. And with this video, I'll hit 400 videos. So to celebrate that, I asked them if they could send me a second stove. It's the same exact thing here. So what I'm going to do is, after I use this, show this, I'm going to have some kind of giveaway. The second stove is going to go to one of you guys. So you may want to watch for my next few videos. A lot of you ask, how do I know when you have a video? Do you have a blog or something? No, but if you go on YouTube, you use YouTube as a tool. It is a tool that works very well. Anything in the world you want to find out how to do is probably on YouTube. So you go on YouTube and punch in, how do I know when one of my subscribers, how do I change my settings so when I know when one of my subscribers posts a video? It'll be up there, step by step where to go, what to click, how to go over. Every time YouTube changes, this changes. But there are those few guys out there that are really good working with it. And they'll show you exactly how to do anything. How to change your settings, whatever you want to do. You put that word in, the video will be there. So you just go in this settings and change your settings to notify you. It'll automatically send you a video whenever I put a e uh, video up. That way you'll know you'll be one of the first ones to enter. I'm going to try this one-handed. I'm holding the camera in this hand, but I've seen this. It's all one piece. Kind of just shake it around. They kind of just got that mess over there. I'm packing for a trip this weekend. In an undisclosed location. Sleep on another peak that I've yet to sleep on. Okay, look at that, it all snapped together. There it is. It goes in there, you stretch it. And all the rest just clicks together. I'd say this thing weighs Maybe a little over a pound. It's got some nice little rugged feet. Let me try it out. pretty comfortable I could set this up right here my fishing rod <laughs> went out this way while I'm sitting here casting with this one it's a really nice chair I was going to buy one of these from REI, 
but they wanted about 50 bucks. I put it off, put it off, put it off. And this company, the sellers of this chair, offered me one. So thank you very much for the chair. Thank you for the stove. I will make many videos and give my honest opinion on both. Thanks for watching. Be sure and uh, keep an eye out for the giveaway. The giveaway won't come till I've used that stove at least three or four times. Which won't be long. I go out all the time. Thanks for watching.